Hey, what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Thanks for the continued support. I'm gonna show you five shapes of the major scale, which in turn will mean that you're learning all the shapes of all the modes. So if you can play the major scale up and down the whole neck, you're also able to play every mode up and down the whole neck without learning anything new, all right? So you gotta learn these shapes. Let's get to it. So I'm gonna show you the G major scale up and down the whole neck. There's five shapes to learn. We're gonna start right here with the G note, the root on the E string on the third fret. I'm gonna use my middle finger, so that's the root, and I'm gonna play three, five. Now we also have two in there, but that's just not the root, so. So the whole shape would be two, three, five, then two, three, five on the A string, then two, four, five on the D string, and then two, four, five again on the G, three, five on the B string. So when you learn these shapes, there's always gonna be one string that only has two notes. And so for this shape, it's the B string, three, five. I'm gonna use middle finger pinky. And then whatever's on the low E is on the high E, so two, three, five. So then we just wanna go backwards. Five, three, two, five, three. Five, four, two, five, four, two. Five, three, two, five, three, two. Back to the root. So it's the G major scale, also known as, you know, the Do, Re, Mi, also known as the Ionian mode. We're gonna learn that exact same scale. Nothing's different, it's the same exact notes. We're just in this part of the neck, so the shape looks differently. See that? You can hear it's the same. So here's the second shape of the major scale. Five, seven, eight, five, seven on the A string. And I'm gonna use index pinky. So. That way I can reach back now to four, five, seven, four, five, seven, back to the five with my index. So five, seven, eight, five, seven, four, five, seven, four, five, seven, now index back on five, seven, eight, five, seven, eight. And I can hear that G note to still hear that it's the exact same scale as right here. Next shape up is gonna, and if you're noticing, the, the each shape that we learn, this portion was the same portion overlapping as the shape below it. So if I was going, you can see that those same things that we're doing now with our index and middle were what we were doing with our ring and pinky in this position. Oops. Okay, so next position, the third shape of the G major scale. We've got our index right here on the seven, and we're gonna go seven, eight, ten on the E string. Then we're gonna go seven, nine, ten, followed by seven, nine, ten. Now we just have the two note part. which would be seven to nine on the G. Everything's lined up perfectly across the seventh fret for this shape. We have seven, eight, 10, 
seven, eight, ten. So ten, eight, seven, ten, eight, seven, nine, seven. 10, 9, 7, 10, 9, 7, 10, 8, 7. Listen to the scale. Wherever I can, if I can find the G notes, you can still hear it's the Do, Re, Mi scale. That's a G. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Do, Re. shapes and then you can play that scale up and down the entire neck which means you can also play every mode up and down the entire neck even if you don't know it yet okay the next position starts on the 10 and we're gonna do our middle finger on the 10 of the of the E string and this is one this is the spot now where it's only two notes on a string and it's uh, 10 to 12 now we're going to do two sets of 9, 10, 12, 9, 10, 12, and then one of 9, 11, 12 on that G string. Now we do a finger switch, and my index now moves up to the 10th fret of the B string right there. And then I'm going to go 10, 12, 13. And remember, on the low E, it was just two notes, so that means on the high E, it's the same thing. So 10, 12 on the high E. So 12, 10, 13, 12, 10. Oh, sorry. Pinky on a 12, 11, 9, 12, 10. 9, 12, 10, 9, 12, 10. So if I find the G note in there, everywhere but each time you move the shape looks different because of the way the guitar is laid out now here's the last shape and we're gonna start on the 12th fret of the low E we're gonna go 12 14 15 same thing on the a 12 14 15 then on the D string just 12 to 14 then we scoot back to the index on the 11 of the G and we go 11, 12, 14 on that G string. Then we've got 12 with the index, 13, 15 on that B, then 12, 14, 15 on the high E. 15, 14, 12, 15, 13, 12, 14, 12, 11, 14, 12, 15, 14, 12, 15, 14, 12. You'll hear anywhere I do that, it's all the G major scale, which is also all the modes of the G major scale. So let me just refresh them real quick. And these are great to memorize. The, the, these are the building blocks of music theory, as well as understanding and playing the modes. It starts with you pretty much having to know these shapes. And it's good for you. You can learn them in little doses if you need to. Here they are again real, uh, real quick. Next position.
our shape. And where I ended right there on the E string is G again, and it would be this shape again up an octave. So forth and so on. So five, five shapes, five shapes to, five shapes to rule them all. All right, I hope it helped. I know it was more just kind of shape stuff, but if you know those well, it will help you, I promise. Uh, once again, it's Marty Music. You can go to the site, martymusic.com, and sign the newsletter for some free courses that will continue to help your musical growth. Uh, I was touching my beard when I said growth. That was weird. Anyway, thanks again, and we'll see you later. I gotta keep on making it. Keep making, keep making.